Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? Dr. Heavenly here. Listen, I know I've been gone for a while, but now I'm back. I got more time. So I'm going to start doing heaven help us. I'm going to give y'all some time to get in. I know David Beam is here. That's my guy and he moderates. I love you. I miss you, boopies. We've been long gone, but I, now I'm back and I'm going to commit to every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. I know we're doing it late tonight because um, we had some other things going on. Um, Listen, house rules. We talk about this all the time. Uh, putting out a disclaimer, this is entertainment purposes only, but this is somebody's real life, y'all. Y'all be sensitive to that, okay? Um, I do not know the whole story between Martel and Melody. Melody is my friend, um, but I did agree to talk to Martel and be unbiased and listen to his side of the story. I hope that you all will do the same. Um, be very careful in your comments because these are people realize, and I'm telling y'all comments really hurt people feelings sometimes. Um, I want to hear a side of the story. And, you know, as always, I'm going to give my honest feedback. But um, I don't know the whole story. I don't know everything. I know bits and pieces. But I hope that um, if we don't uplift this marriage, we actually let them um, leave in a better space. That's what the ultimate goal is. It's not to make a mockery of anybody's marriage. Um but to leave them in a better space and, and find out how um, reality TV can damage or help the situation. Um, I'm going to talk to him. Um, I told him nine o'clock is now nine o'clock. I'm waiting for him to enter the studio. I will know when he enters um, and we'll go for there from there. Um, hello, everybody. I miss you guys. Y'all want to pray? Cause I do. I think there's so much going on in the world today with um, all the, the all the violence and um, criminal injustices. I know y'all see me repair miracles teeth. I've been on Fox News. We've done a voters registration um, campaign on the radio. We've been really been out there in our community doing a whole lot. And um, I just want to let y'all know that God is in control of everything in every situation. And you know, I do have my alter ego where I have my little comedy side was messy. And then we have a kind of side that's Dr. Heavenly. I'm going to call the messy bitch, I'm going to call her Dr. Lovely. That's my alter ego when I get messy. Okay, but then we have Dr. Heavenly here. And it's all for entertainment purposes, but I want to remind you that this is somebody's real life, so be careful with your comments. Um, Tell should be in in a minute. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, for growth, Lord Jesus. Um. We ask that you watch over uh, Martell and Melody and their children and, and cover them in this situation, in this time. Um, keep us all healthy, happy, and content in every way possible, Lord Jesus. You know what's going on in the world today, Lord. Uh, we listen to you. We know you're in control. Whatever your will be done, be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So it's Nana one. I'm going to call this dude because you know I'm about punctuality. Um... Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna call him right now. Daddy's good. Thank you. All right, we on. I'm on now. So just click the link. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. He's clicking now. Guys, remind y'all be re respectful. Okay. This somebody husband. And you know what? I'm gonna just say that shit. It might be her husband again. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking for him. I don't see him yet, but uh, he's clicking in and we're going to have him in just a second. It shouldn't take much. Um, I do love them both, too. Um, you know, and I commend the brother because he does look like he's very active in his children's lives. I mean, no matter what, he seems very active in those children's lives. And I know for a fact that he does have the kids. He does care for the kids. And um, yeah, let's just uplift him for that. You know, um, let's see. We waiting on the baby. He say he clicking in, so uh, we ready. I sent him the link. Um, thank you, God. Thank you. Um, thank you. I miss you too, Tracy Myers. Thank y'all for attending. Tawanda Mos, Tawanda Mosley, Deshana Dykes. Um, I think it says Dyke Q Cannon. I think that is Z Wars. Y'all Anderson style. These are old people. These are my boopies here. David Beam. I love you guys. Um, he is a father. Um, yes, Keisha. Uh Gothney. Goth, I can't see. Um, D Serotonis. Um, LaCrystal White, Chris B, Chasing Arbion. Uh, Kimberly Wilson. 
and I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, y'all come on in. I see Martel here. It says his device is here, and we're going to enter him into the studio. Can you, you can't like see me that well, can you? No, nah, let me see. Let me get you in here real good. There we go. You got good light behind you. Really I guess I got the um the warm lights going on. It looks good. It looks good for me. It's working. It's working. Hey, Martel, right. how are you this evening? I'm doing pretty good. How are you about yourself? Now, I'm going to give people a big drop. Um, I met you a long time ago. We met at Essence, right? You and Don't I even Melody talk about that shit. Don't even talk about that. Oh, that's, oh, that's how we do it. Okay. <laughs> you, you set the tone for this conversation, sir. Hey. You the man. I'm going to let you set the tone. So we going to go do that. Are we going to be Dr. Lovely or are we going to do Dr. Heavenly now? Um, Dr. Heavenly, you call me story out there. I'm going to give you the floor for you to speak. What would you like to say to the people? No, I, I guess you were speaking on, um, I, I guess we'll have like a, a nice dialogue, but first you, you mentioned like when we first met, um, the first thing you said to to us, he a cheater, ain't he? <laughs> and what Melody said, yeah. I did not know y'all from Adam and you give off that vibe, just the look that you look. It looked like what, you. What, what does that look? It looked like a hoe. It looked like a man that a cheat. I, I, you asked me a question. Please don't ask hey, me a question. Hey, if you want to ask me so, so you said you said a, a decent looking man, a decent looking man look like he yeah, cheats. Like Barack Obama looks decent. He looks very nice, but I would not say that Barack Obama's a hoe. But you look, and I don't know nothing about you, brother. Let's start over, okay? From the time <laughs> I met you, let's start over. I know Melody probably better. But I said I wasn't going to be biased. You know, I, I always like to hear both sides of every story. You have the floor. Yeah. Well, I guess, um, you know, I, I reached out to you because I wanted to speak to someone that wasn't biased. I saw a lot of your lives and things like that. It, it felt that you wasn't biased when it came between a, a man and a woman. And, I, you know, I said I appreciate that. So, you know, I had a lot of people, a lot of bloggers and stuff like that reaching out. But I told myself, I said, no. I think it'll, it, they'll sway it one way that would, I'm not looking for it to benefit me or anything like that. The only thing I want to do is really just, you know, just talk from my perspective. And because, you know, um, you know, Melody, she's had, a, had a, a platform for her to speak out. She goes live and things like that. That's something that I've never done. Um, and I, mean, I guess it's unfortunate sometimes. And I would say to any man these days, it seemed like um, the woman, she's very quick to go out and, and say what the man did. And um, it can be very damaging to men. And typically a man's like, no, I'm not going to say anything. Because as soon as we say something, we look, at, we look down as like what uh, a, a, a Mitch or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm saying that I'm going to speak my half. You know what I'm talking about? Because to me, it's not fair. For like, like Mel and I feel that she's, had, she's drugged me through the mud. You know, we've gone through our differences. Uh, but like, don't keep on trying to... To bury me and so, so what you're saying is, so what you're saying is the stuff that she's putting out is not true you've never cheated you don't have a girl the bitch the girl ain't pregnant all of this stuff that's out there is not true let's let's clear the air right so, now because if it ain't uh, true so, let's say it. Well, well no 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 some things are true i mean i have cheated but the thing is if like we started this show love and marriage huntsville Melody decided she wanted to put all my business out on Front Street. You know, let every, the whole world know that Martell cheated. Okay? But the thing is, she cheated before the show even started. But I'm saying, like, if you're going to tell your, your husband's side, go on and tell your side, too. Make it that more, much more interesting. You, you, you follow me? But she didn't want to do that. So it's, it's my thing right now, because everybody looking at me like, oh, Martell, you're a dog and this and that. Um, but... Everybody didn't know that my wife cheated on me too. Um, and then, but besides that, you know, I'll, I'll take it back. Um, I, I, what I say to all women, take care of your man from the beginning. You know, if you know he has certain needs, take care of your man. Especially if your man is, you know, helping out in the house, taking care of kids. Uh, I mean, not just taking care of kids, really the dominant parent. I've been the dominant parent when it, when it came to um, my household. I always have been. I still am right now, even going through this divorce. I still am. Um, but I, I would definitely say that the men really have to start speaking up. 
I mean, especially if, you, especially if you're handling your business. You know, like a man not handling his business. No, you shouldn't say anything. But if you're the breadwinner, you cleaning up the damn house just like your, your wife is. You taking care of the kids just as good as she is. You, I mean, you, you, you coming home every day, every night. Though I cheated, I still, I, I, I never hung out. I don't hang out. I don't party. Um, I don't smoke. I don't drink. Um, so to me, it's like, <sighs> but a, a woman needs to take care of the man. Your, the woman, the wife needs to take care of the man. What if they're sexual, like? if they're sexual, um, I don't give a damn. Even if it's head, I'm committed to you. You're mine. I'm yours. You, you want it just to be him and her to them do his part. It's supposed to be like that. So if I have a request, I mean, granted, you know, I haven't, I've, ne I've, I've never been like a, a cheater growing up, like, you know, college, I've never been a cheater. Um, through this, most, most of my marriage, I wasn't a cheater, but it's just, um, I'm so sorry, my child, hold on, I'm so sorry. No, no yeah. problem. Well, I commend the brother for taking care of his kids. Now, that's one thing I will say that Martel does do and he does well from what I can see is that he does spend a lot of time with his kids. I know that he um, has a newborn um, or shoot, that baby probably about one year old by now. I know uh, Melody had that baby maybe, how old is your youngest child, Martel? Because I was just commending you for being just such a great father. Yeah, she's 10 months now. Yeah. 10, ten months. months. Time does. Yeah. Time I, does fly. So when you think a woman does. needs to take care of her man, what does the ideal woman look like to you? Um, well, you know, I, I won't even mention like an ideal woman. I just feel like if you're married and you know, if, if your husband wants sex tonight, I mean, give it to him. If he won't head tomorrow, give it to him. As long as he's definitely handling his business. Now I can say if it was um, a dude that you, a, a husband that you taking care of, he don't want to get a job. He's not helping with the kids. He putting all this strain on you, all this burden on you, not, um, not trying to help you grow. See, the thing is, you know, I was behind Melody 100%. You know, even with our companies, I allowed her to be um, like CEO and things like that of our company um, to be the face of it because I just thought it, it would do better, you know? But that's me not being a selfish person. You follow me? I had no problem with that. This is my wife. So I want her to be, uh, I want to be looked at it as someone great. You know, and that's what I've done ever since the beginning. You know, she's had my back on a lot of things, which I appreciate. But, you know, it's come to the point where you, you, you're dragging me. And it's, it, it's not cool, um, considering everything that I've done for this family, um, for you, her personally, and things of that nature. Um, I mean, it, it's been tough. So you're saying that Melody cheated initially. She cheated before you did. You know, it's so crazy. I can't say that for a fact that she cheated before me. She cheated years ago uh, before we started film, filming the show. Um, but honestly, I would feel like I tell her, you know, I feel that before I started cheating, I feel that she, she cheated before me only because she stopped having sex with me. She stopped performing like she normally would. Only thing, you know, she would say is I'm tired. I'm like, I understand like that, that you're tired, but like I, I used to tell her like, baby, I'm bringing home the money. I said, you don't have to go to this meeting. You don't have to go to that, to this function. You don't have to do that. Put me first. You know, those are some of the conversations I used to have to her. And you know, even though um, I never set her down, having a meeting saying like, hey, you need to make sure you're satisfied. You know, it, it's more like passing communication. Like, hey, so you are, you know, like, hey, I wanna have sex, like, just take care of your husband. This type of stuff that I should say. Um, and then I remember this um, one particular day, you know, she was supposed to have, uh, we were supposed to went to a barbecue or something like that. And she was in, she was in the bed, we kind of got into it or something like that. And she was in the bed getting, opening up her computer and I can imagine she's about to go to Instagram um, then. Um, and she told me, go, go, go find your girlfriend. She told me to go find your girlfriend. I still remember that vividly. And that night, that's when I met 
the mistress, right? So it's it's so wait a minute. Uh, Do you know a fact she cheated or are you speculating? Has she admitted oh, 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 to cheating? Yeah, 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 yeah. She she she's yeah. admitted. Yeah, yeah. She she admitted to cheating. Yeah. Once. Now now um, Marcia, most oh, oh, take no, women no. no, so I'm sorry, go ahead. I was saying most men don't take women back for cheating. Women take men back all the time. But what made you stay? I right, said it one more time. I said, what made you stay after she cheated? Because most men are out. You know what I mean? They can't take it. No. Do you hear that? I hear a ding sound like you're getting a text or something. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so at the time, no, I, I mean I didn't know. You know, you she know. she told me this. She no, yeah, she told me this later on. And 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 then for her to, you know, like like this day of time, she would say that I forgave you for I kept forgiving you for the things that you did. And then I would say, now that I know that she cheated on me, I'm like, well, you was probably slacking in certain areas because you was, you know, seeing someone else, you know. So it's like a lot of things that I'm, you know, that I'm puzzled by. Okay, so Martell, how many times have you cheated and how long have you been with the mistress? I mean, did she know about it initially or is this something new and y'all knew it when y'all came to TV? Because this is, this seems like a lot. No, it is a lot. I would definitely agree to that. It is a lot. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I've I seen uh, the mistress over five years. And like, like you know, I, it's, it's ugly. I know it is, but a lot of times, you know, her and I, we stopped talking. I stopped talking to her for, you know, several, several months. And, you know, Melody knew that. Um, but I come home to someone who's, you know, not only not satisfying me, but, you know, disrespecting me with the mouth, almost talking to me like she's the man and I'm the woman or something like that, like really disrespecting me. Um, and, and sometimes I, I would tell, like, Melody, I know, I know this is very wrong, but I'll say, Melody, you say you're talking to me you say how you're doing so that's why i cheated on you right there i would tell her right then i would say this is why i cheated on you look how you're talking to me look how you're acting toward me so that i mean that that was i mean you know that's why i kept you know i stopped talking to her for four months five months and then i'll see my see my way back because that was that was comfort for me right right there you know so is it true that men really don't respect their mistresses because they say that you call this woman a peasant and i saw you apologize but it looked as if to me that you apologized just to get back with her to have sex with her again did you why did you call I, her I, parents I'll at first be real. okay for, I, i'll be real because there was a lot of things going on with melody myself and her you know and so at this moment, I'm telling Melody that, um, okay, I'm, I'm not talking to her, but the mistress is calling Melody, you know, create, they've both been calling each other at this moment, you know, creating um, confusion um, and chaos. So I'm telling, I'm telling um, Melody, okay, I said, listen, I don't talk to her no more, stuff like that. Um, so this is a point where I'm really trying to win my wife back, you know, whatever I can do to make my wife feel good. I go on TV. I'm, I'm talking to the um, counselor and the first thing, she's a peasant. You know, something that make my wife will, will feel good, let her know that I'm really like done with her. So, I mean, if that's, but I, I don't view her as a peasant, but there's just something that I said to make my wife feel good at the moment. I mean, and, and she did. Um, so, um, but you know, I did apologize because that's wrong for me to do so. Um, and it caused such an uproar um, in the community um, you know, um, I know a lot of disrespect has been going on, but I definitely, definitely don't view her as a peasant. Are you seeing her, her now? Her. Say it again. Are you seeing your mistress now? I think her name is Ariane or something like that. No. Are you seeing her now? No. Is there a baby? Don't nobody want to know if it's a baby or not. Oh, so you don't know? No, I'm, I'm saying, do anyone want to know if it's a baby? Are you, yeah, your people saying anything? Really is there a baby? Is I want to know. Is that yes or no, Martell? Listen, 
do you have a baby on the way by your mistress Ariane? Yeah, I have to go ask her that. So you don't know? Is that what you're saying? You don't know? Yeah, I got to go ask her that. So has she been pregnant before? Yeah. See, in two, Mel it's like Melody put so much out, right? And you know, Melody has been through some of the th same things. You know, I hate to even even say that, but I see Melody really will go low, and not, it's not even about Arion. I mean, it's it's about me, you know, because she's hurting me a lot, you know. And and you know, Melody has been you know through through some of the same things. And I question Melody like, was I the father? Seriously, for you to do something like I'm not I'm not even gonna say the terms, but you, you can read between the lines. You you went through this. I, I, I think twice. You went through this. Why would you go through this? If if it's my if it's your husband's child, but you went through it. So too. did you get a DNA test and you that that's your child? Say it again. Have you done a DNA test? Of course, Melody's child is yours, correct? Oh no 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 oh no no! I'm to my. You just asked me a question. No, hold on. You you asked me a question. You just said that um, has Ariel ever had an abortion? Right. I said. Then yeah, I, has she before? Then I I immediately jumped to Melody putting out people's business like that, and I said Melody also been through some of the same things. Okay. You, you, you follow me? Uh, what I'm hearing is you saying that the children that you have with Melody possibly may not be yours. Is that not oh, what no. you're saying? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Said, and that's what it sounds like to the audience as well. That's why I'm giving you an opportunity to clarify. All those kids are yours. You never had a of of situation where you thought this child was somebody else. No, no. I, I'm okay, saying, um, no, I'm saying Melody had an abortion. And I think two two times. And I'm saying okay. if I, from you, I, that's my that's my thing. If it, if it's mine, why would you have an abortion? Okay. Do you follow me? So, so there's a lot going on. Is there Hell any yeah. saving saving the relationship? Can you guys save the because y'all been through every freaking thing? And like to me, y'all still stayed together. What was the breaking point at this point? Well, to me, the breaking point was, let me see. The breaking point was when I, when I kind of like saw her heart, right? She, um, we, had an, we, we had an attorney out in Birmingham. And, you know, he, he's, he's my frat too. And, you know, met each other. And, you know, he's working on some things for us, the business things for us and things like that. And um, so I, I come home after, after the gym and then Melody fell asleep with the phone in her hand texting him. But in the phone, it, it said her best friend's name, though. And I got the phone. I'm like, I said, you wouldn't be texting her this. So I put the number in my phone, and it was my attorney's number. So I immediately took pictures of all the messages, you know, about them, you know, um, meeting up, seeing each other, um, and things of that nature. But I, I waited. I waited a couple of weeks before I revealed that. And guess who sent me my my first divorce document? He sent it. That is wow. Yeah, he sent he sent me that first um, divorce document, not knowing, not knowing that I knew that they were seeing each other. So and then Melody, you, I mean, class act. She was in. I mean, I got a, I got everything recorded too. So I started being a little petty, just like just like her. So I'm like, damn, us as men, we got to start doing what these women are doing. They gonna keep taking us for everything that we have. So I started recording stuff. So you know, Melody was like, I swear to God, I'm not talking to nobody. I ain't doing nothing. I mean, on my grandmother, on my kids, I'm not saying doing anything. And I'm like shaking my head, like, <laughs> I got the stuff in my phone already, you know. So I'm like, wow, I cannot believe she up here like swearing like this <laughs> so my question like, to you is what have you learned how can we get past this are, are we getting are we getting a divorce is it really over and if so how can we get past this or do you want to reconcile and get back together well you know um 
I, I text, I, I, well, I sent Melody an email um, not too long ago um, telling her that, you know, because I, I love my kids more than anything in the world, right? Um, though I've done things to, to hurt us all, I have. I'm not perfect. By, by any means, I'm not perfect. Um, I accept that, you know, and I'm still a good ass dad. That, that, that's my, my main focus right there. Um, but I emailed Mel telling her that um, it's almost saying that, like, you know, I'll, I'll forgive you for everything that you've done. Um, forgive me. I mean, that, that's kind of what I was saying. Like, you know, much as I want our family to be together and for our children to be raised by both Mel and myself, I mean, because it was a beautiful thing. I'm not going to lie. It, it was a beautiful thing. Every time I think of it, you know, it kind of um, it hurts my heart to see that we're not um, together, uh, knowing everything that we've been through, knowing all the things that we've accomplished together. Um, you know, I would say that we we definitely <clears throat> we we grew up together. You know, and to see that um, how happy my children used to be, we were all together. You know, taking trips to L.A., taking trips to Canada. You know, all my children. You know, I was a firm, firm believer that wherever I go, I want to take my kids too. you know, and I don't care how far I travel. I want them to experience this amazing um, journey as I experience it, too. And there were some our, um, arguments, too, though, because I always wanted my kids to be with me every, everywhere I went. Um, but. You know, sometimes I, I do wish that this was all a dream. I wish this TV show was a dream. I wish this. Um, this fucking social media was a dream. Instagram, I wish it was all a dream. Um, I wish that, yeah, I, I mean, all the things we've gone through, I wish that it, it, it never was. Because I feel that- So what it sounds like to me is you love your wife, but you have made mistakes. If your wife was listening right now, and is she still your wife legally? Y'all have not completely divorced yeah, she, yet, she, right? She's still your that's, wife. That's correct. She's still my wife, yeah. What would you say to her right now? What would you say to her? Both of you all have made mistakes. She's done some things. You've done some things. We don't know what's true or what ain't. We going by what you're saying. But yeah. um, what do you? What would you say to her right now? I mean, well, I, I wouldn't say anything right now. I mean, I, I, I talk to her. I, we talk often. I mean, she was just. Um, I saw her earlier today. Um, but she she know where I stand. Um, I know where she stands. Um, but my thing is, we both have to get to a point where. We're not trying to damage each other's career lives and things like that, you know, because um, this was far fetched for me to even want to be on here talking to you. You know what I'm talking about? Right. But one thing about it as as a man, we can't keep accepting women always dogging us out, especially if we, we got a good hearts, especially if we, we we we're not as bad as they're putting it out there. You know what I'm talking about? So, hell, yeah, I want to come out here and speak my speak my part, you know? But um, do you no, still right. love your wife? Do you want your wife back? No, I, I don't want. I don't want to, at this moment. No, uh -uh. I, I want us to to part ways. Um, if we could come back together in a few years or something like that, I mean, we could we could see. But like right now, I, I feel that it, it's her time to go out and blossom. It, it's, it's my time to um, blossom as well. And I mean, just see what our next chapter is. So with saying that, where does this show stand? Is the show just over because you all are done? Because I know you all are the main couple on the show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. And do you think this show played a part in you guys separated? Because it looked like y'all were doing all this before the marriage, before the show. Y'all were cheating on each other, allegedly, you know, and all this was going on. Do you think the, the show ended this? And where does the show stand? Well, the amazing thing about this show here, you know, talk to Carlos King. Um, the amazing thing about this show, it's not like a, um, what you call it, Real Housewives of Atlanta, when the whole focal point is on the woman and the things that she do. So, you know, like on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the woman and man, they get a divorce. They forget about the man and the woman. She'll remarry in a year. Cynthia Bailey, you know. Right. Um, so, so, so this show is a little different. You know, they go focus on the, both man and, and woman. So, no, no, no telling who, who, who Melly brings to the table and, and vice versa, you know? Um, she don't want to be lonely. I'm not going to be lonely either. 
And to, to mention, do we think the show brought us to this point? Hell yeah, it played a part. Social media played a part. I, I, I still remember, like, I'm telling, like, Melody, don't be so involved what social media has to say. Um, all these thousands and thousands of comments and because no matter what you do, no matter how good you are, they still go have something negative to say about you. So, you know, Melody, she, she's the person that reads into all of that. Mm -hmm. I don't read the comments because I already know what it is with social media. But do you think that your relationship is normal? Because is that normal in your mind or is it dysfunctional? Because I can only speak for my relationship. I've never cheated on my husband. I don't know of my husband ever cheating on me. And he damn sure ain't got no baby. So my whole thing is, do you think this is normal in a relationship? Because some people's mindset is different. Like, do you think it's normal to cheat and y'all cheat and then y'all stay together? No, hell no. Uh, well, I mean, well, I'll be real. I mean, probably seven, eight out of 10 people have cheated or been cheated on. Yeah, because typically if you're, if you're not the cheater, you're with the cheater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it, we, we don't want it to be normal. I mean, but only reason we don't want it to be normal because we don't want to be hurt. We don't want to have to think about things like that, you know? Um, but in, in, in reality, I mean, it, it, that, that is what happens. Probably out of eight out of 10 relationships. I mean, it happens. And I think a lot of people fault you for being arrogant, for being a successful black man, being what a lot of women are looking for, but they fault you because you're confident, because you're arrogant, because you got it, you know, you got your life seems like together. Um, and they look at you like a dog, like you're, you're a dog because you, you, you portray I'm trying to get my words right and arrogance. Like it's almost like it's okay that you cheated. Like, bitch, forgive me, I did it. That's what it sounds like. What do you say to those type of people? What do you say to people that feel like you look like and, and, and seem like you feel like it's okay for what you've done? I mean, damn what she did, you're the man, we're talking to you. Yeah, yeah. So what that was or what's not. But for you, do you think it's okay for a man to cheat? And why do you have all this arrogance about yourself in, in the cheating, almost as if it's okay? No, um, I, I definitely don't think it's okay to cheat. Um, it, it's, it's not cool to cheat, you know? Um, and, and for me, you know, I would tell anybody, before you cheat, ask for a divorce, you know? Right. But I just wasn't in that in that position. You know, I love my kids so much. I don't. I, I didn't want to and part ways. Go ahead and say that you loved your wife and your children. Yeah, I love my wife and my children most definitely, most definitely. <laughs> um, but I'm talking about through the things that the both of us did, um, and one of the reasons. I mean, because a lot of times I always look at my kids. You, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, um, it's hard for me not to in terms of wanting us to really stay together and raise our children together, you know? Um, but when it comes to cheating, no, I mean, I know it's not right. And I know some people look at me like his arrogant ass, um, but I guess I'm a confident man. I, I, I don't know. I've always been like that. Ever since high school, people said I was arrogant. I mean, but I mean, I'm gonna continue to, to strive in, in the way I see fit for myself, you know? Um, and, and then when it comes to uh, me cheating, seem like it's right the right thing or, or it's cool for me to do such a thing um i don't think i'm gonna say is women women take care of your fucking man take care of your man like you don't know what his reaction is going to be and it's, it's not up to you to know what your man's reaction is going to be to you not doing what you should do as the wife or as the girlfriend T take care of them take care of them that's the only thing i'm gonna say because if you don't like what, what if i look like the point where I curse your ass out, really? But I'm a respect. I oh, say normally I would curse your ass out because you're telling people women take care of your man. It don't have anything to do with the woman. A man cheats because he wants to cheat, no hell matter no, what. No, 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 hell no. That, 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 that's right. not true. He'll cheat. That shit ain't true because I've never been a cheater. No, it's not. Well, in, it's, in certain circumstances might be true, but what I'm saying is also true because I never was a cheater. I never was a cheater. I was never cheating on Melody. Period. Until she started to stop when she started denying me from sex. So that's she a reason. Started, that's a when reason. She to cheat. Me, when she started telling me no consistently, and I'm up here doing all of this shit in this house. 
like I said, I'm, I, I'm not a regular dude. I've never been a regular dude. So when, when my needs aren't met, what you want him to do? What, what is he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do, Dr. Hamlin? You know, the interesting thing, guys, and I'm going to talk to the, the audience for a minute. This man just feel the way he do. He can't help it how he is. Now, I know it sounds bad. What he's saying, what you sound like yeah. is real bad, really. But this is how he feel, and he keeping it real, y'all. Y'all got to give him something for keeping it real. This is how he feel. He feel like he's a good-looking man, a confident man. He should get what he wants. Now, nope, I don't know. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got to keep going. Don't don't stop at a confident man, a good-looking man. Don't stop right there. Keep going in terms of a great father. Um, In terms of Melody's endeavors, I pushed her. I was there. I, she, sometimes I grabbed her hand and, and pulled her. I put a lot of money behind Melody as hope. So everything that you see now, it has been it has been created over the last 10 years with me playing a major part. You know, she she didn't do anything on her on her own. You know, going to talk to Carlos King six years ago, me not want to be a part of no TV show. I wouldn't I, I booked that consultation. I I initiated that with Carlos King years ago. I don't want to be on no damn TV. Me being on Love and Marriage Huntsville, that's nothing I really wanted to do. But that was just a step I was willing to take for Melody to go to the next level, you know? So if, if, if a man is doing everything he's supposed to do and you're not going to take care of him, shit, it's open doors. It's open doors. Uh, you can, hey, listen. All right. Do, 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 you, do you consistently deny your man? I don't. However, even if I did, I would not accept that as an excuse. I would not. No. I'm sorry. Can agree to disagree, Martel, I'm and you know, saying, right. and I get what you're saying, and I get and I love you for speaking your truth because a lot of men won't say what you just said, but a lot of men yeah. feel the way that you do, but they just right. won't say it because of the backlash they're gonna get. So I give you the com comment, but it's still in my world. I'm gonna only talk about me. That's not an excuse to cheat, brother. It's just oh, not. No. So See, listen, I'm gonna move. <laughs> And saying, what does a good relationship look like to you? What is your next relationship look like? And are you with the new girl, Ariane? What y'all gonna do about the baby? You gonna do child support? It's just one baby, right? I don't, and listen, you gotta ask her if she's pregnant. I don't know. You ask her if she's pregnant, you know? Let's not talk about um, a baby in terms of dealing with her. You, she's never told you that. Hey, listen, my thing is, you just got through saying that is not an excuse to cheat. So what is an excuse to cheat? What is an excuse to cheat? Because when you may, and, and you know what, let me get this back. Let me back off for you because we all do wrong. We all do wrong. I am not the person I might curse somebody out tomorrow and everybody does wrong. But when you make a commitment in front of God, no matter if she is denying you, that does not give you access to cheat. It just doesn't. And it sounds really bad for you to say this woman was not doing what you needed her to do. And that's why you cheated. You cheated because you're a cheating man and no other no, that's reason. Not, that, that, that's not we, accurate. That, that's not accurate. But it is. You, you can't say that, though. How can you say that I'm a cheating man? No, I'm not a cheating man. Just because I no, I'm not a cheating man. No, I've never been in no situation like this. I've never been cheating on my woman. No, I've never done that. Period. I can say this is something that I've. You know, if it was been continuous uh, for the last 15, 20 years, no, I'm, I'm, I've never been like this. What would you say to somebody that says that you are narcissistic and you are? And is, Mel is, Mel is Melody sending you that shit? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. But that, honestly, that's what you give off, dude. I'm not lying to you. I'm being straightforward with you. You give off this narcissistic attitude almost like a caveman kind of mentality that bitch if, if, if I want it you better give it to me or I'm gonna get it somewhere else that's what it sounds like everybody goes through problems and issues in their marriage there may be a time where sex is great and there may be times when it's lacking but when it's lacking if we have a commitment in front of God in my opinion for me and we can disagree that's not an excuse to cheat because she no, it's cheated not. it's not an excuse to cheat it's not, Martel. So you making sound like you making a lot of excuses for cheating when you the man. You the man. You the I, man. Listen, at the, at the end of the day, I don't have to have an excuse. I did what I did. At the end right. of the day, I don't have to have a damn excuse for nobody or nothing. Social media, nobody. I cheated. Right. I've, I've yes, owned it. I've owned this since day one. You know, 
on national TV, I, I owned it, but I was mad as hell that Melody wanted to put it out there, you know? Um, but How could she not have a baby on the way? She, Melody put this out here, um, what, almost two years ago now. And you've been cheating for five years. But per your been, conversation. I, 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 yeah, I've, I've been somebody's friend for five years, over five years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's tough, Dang isn't it? Okay. Poor, I know. Okay. I know. So, what lessons have you learned? Because I ain't going to get in an argument with you. Listen, I, I feel like you really <laughs> not and you really wrong. I think you're not so sick too. You know that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I submit to my husband because he's, he's worth it. Ooh. I would yeah. not submit a man like you i would just not that's just me and i'm not asking you to i'm just saying a woman of my stature would never because you have this arrogance about you that you're better than because i didn't do something for you now you're supposed to figure out what i need as a woman and why i'm not giving you sex why i'm not doing these things for you because there is a reason Trust me, it is. And it might be that you've been cheating for five years. It may be that she's going no, through something. It, was, it, it wasn't that. It wasn't that at the time, though, Dr. Heavenly. So you, you, you're going ahead of everything. It wasn't even no four or five years then. It was Martel wasn't even cheating at that time. You got, you got to understand the, the, um, the events, the time frame of the events. So at that time, this when I was complaining. I'm like, Mel, why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that, Mel? Like, like, satisfy me. Like, what, what is it? So the, the dialogue so was there. What it is, because it is something. If a woman's not giving you a, a physical part of herself, there's a reason. So Martell what, asked the is it, is it because she was cheating too? Is it because she Possibly, was cheating at that time? I don't know. I don't know. And, and you know, women cheat for different reasons than men. And I'm not giving her an excuse. I'm not. She's not here, so I'm not going to talk bad about it. I don't know that she cheated. I heard you say that. But what I'm saying to you is a woman cheats. A woman disconnects herself from a man for a reason. So what we needed to do from the very beginning, ask the man. And I ain't judging you, dude. No way I can judge anybody. You know, I talk a lot of shit on my show, but there's no way I can judge anybody because I am not right in my, you know, my marriage is not perfect. Nobody's marriage is. But what I'm saying is when you saw an issue there, as the husband, as the man who's the protector, provider, and the person that's praying for his family, you got to figure out why this woman is feeling this way. Not saying, hey, she doing this, so I'm going to do it. You hear what I'm saying? Because no. when you do no. that, that becomes kind of childish. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it sounds like a 17-year-old mindset. Think about what I'm saying, because I'm keeping it real, real with you, Martell. And you know, I like you and I think you're a great father and I think you're a great per person and you got it going on. You're doing well. But you're talking like a 17 year old when you say that my wife was cheating, possibly, allegedly. I don't know. Maybe you have proof. I don't know. But so I did it. And because she no, wasn't no, giving no, me no, what no, I No, I never said that. I never said that. Now you're putting words in my mouth, Dr. Heavenly. I never said that that's why I cheated because she cheated. I, I never said that. Now that sounds like a 17 year old. So I didn't say that. Okay. I didn't say that. Yeah. yeah she wasn't words in my mouth. I don't like that. You had to get it out for yourself. Did you not say that? Because I don't want to put no I, words I, in I, I, I didn't say that either. I didn't say it in, no, in that fashion. <laughs> not okay. in that fashion, though. I did it. What did you Hold say? Because that's what I heard. Hold on. Well, let's go. What, what did you say? What was the question? I said, what did you exactly say? Because that's what I heard. In the beginning of this, you said that your wife was not giving you what you needed, so you went out and got it. That's what you said. That's what I heard. So, so, so one, would say, one would say, basically, you said that, Martel, but I didn't say it in those words, though. But okay. I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. So let's leave it alone. Okay? Um, is this marriage over? Is there any salvage to this marriage? Can we fix it some kind of way? And you know, you're going to hear all over the world, yes, it's over, whatever. But nobody can judge you. Nobody can judge her because y'all are on this relationship and every single situation is different. Is, yeah. there, is there enough love to keep this marriage going? Not at this moment, it's not. Um, you know, we, we, we've talked, um, but at this moment, it, it's not. Okay. Are you continuing a relationship with the baby mama? Melly's Alleg my only baby mama. Melly's okay, alleged baby, mama. baby mama. Several abortions. Mel Mel Melly is my only Melody is the only baby mama. Okay, the child that's on the way allegedly. Are you I in a relationship? I, who is uh, Ariana? What's her? 
Are you in a relationship with Ariana? No. You're not in a relationship with Ariana. You have not no. seen Ariana in how long? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the the day. You don't, don't know. know. No, I don't know the time okay. frame. Okay, you don't know the time frame. So was it last month? Was it last night? Was it last year? I don't, I don't know the time frame. You're full of shit, Martell. I'm just gonna put that out there, player. You full of shit. I'm gonna call you out. You full of shit. <laughs> what you expect? You are. I'm sorry, Martell. You a nice guy, and I hope you get everything you want in your life. But you are full of total shit. You full of shit. You are. What, the, what you want me to say? I, 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 Judgmental, I'm not being biased or anything. You full of shit. I mean, you do you have a relationship with this woman? Allegedly, I don't have no baby mama. Meaning you got a baby on the freaking way. Everybody know what she said it. Melody know what she said it. You saying you don't know. Okay, you don't know. Okay, but you know you slept with this woman and it's probably that you've had abortions and this lady got a baby. Now I'm about to go in. I'm trying to hold back now, Martell. That's why I'm saying. But now you saying you don't know when last time you saw this damn woman. I cannot accept that answer. You don't know? You don't know last what? time you start. When the last time you slept with this woman? Hey, listen. Oh, all right, all right. it's been it's been it's been a while. Okay, what's a while? Two weeks, two days? Cause that means Doctor like Heavenly, Doctor Heavenly, it's been a while. Jeez. Okay, well I'm gonna leave it long because you don't want to answer the question. Thank you. But it sounds like you're not Thank being you. with the world. No, now you I, can't I, mean, I, I, I have been. been. Hey, listen. Okay, come been. back. Come back. I commend you for being a great father. I'm gonna leave you alone because you're full of shit. I appreciate shit. it. Okay, you. I commend you for being a great father. Do you think you could ever be a good husband? Yeah. Well, I appreciate the fact that you um, said I'm a, I'm a good dad because you know that that's what my focus is. My focus is on my on on my children and making sure that my children is being um, raised in a way that um, we want to see them go um, in the future. So that, that's my focus. Um, marriage, um, another relationship, that's not my focus right now. You know, I have four children. I have four. I have four children. How many women um, do you have right now? Excuse me? How many women do you, I didn't stop. How many women are you seeing right now? Um, I have four children right now. That's my main focus. Okay, I yeah. get it. That's my okay. main focus. And that's good. And I and I appreciate that. Um, it's very important that we take care of our children. And I love the way that you guys are co-parenting and being very mature about the kids. And I do see that you do have the kids because even when I called you, you had the kids. Most men don't take the kids, Martell. So that's big yeah. of you. Most men do not yeah. take the kids, they do not nurture the kids. They do not help the wife with the children for whatever reason. They do financial, but not physically, you know, so that's yeah. good. That's that's good that you're doing that, and that's a great part of it. So you say you're not interested in a relationship. You don't know when the last time you saw your mistress, and um, you did not say that you had sex with another woman because your wife wouldn't give you nothing. You didn't say that, but we got the tape and this shit live, so okay. Hey, listen, just, not, not, not in those baby. words. It, it's just you started putting words in my mouth, that's all. But it's fine. Though. Okay, that was me. It was all me, y'all. It was all me. So anybody got any questions for Mark? Because I'm done with his ass. Because he done like, hey, he hey, done hey. Like, no, no questions, Dr. Heavenly. I thank you for your time. It has been amazing. I, I like out. you. What you a likable guy. You're a likable guy. But you ain't the dude. I would never let my daughter date somebody like you. Just saying. <laughs> is, that, is that good to say? You good to be somebody friend. You can't be my husband friend because he might start thinking like your ass. But you're probably a really cool guy. But I would never allow any of my women that I love date somebody like you. Because you, you oh, got to know Martell. And I ain't trying to you. You a, you a great guy, but you so fucking arrogant. My God. And you don't even think right. The shit you do, you don't even see. You can tell by your expression. Right now? Oh. Right, right now? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Please. And I think that if you ask the world, looking at you right now, now, I don't know you. I mean, I don't know you, but I, I have a great power of discernment. That's one thing God has blessed me with. You now, ain't going to... All y'all damn women got great powers of discernment. Let y'all tell it. All y'all. We do. We do. We do. We do. 
I know that's right. <laughs> but you know what? I appreciate you being open and honest. I do know that men have feelings too. And a lot of times men remain silent and never get out their voice. So I think that's yeah. great that you don't have a problem saying how you feel. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. The world accepts it or it doesn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that when you get into a relationship, explain to a woman what it is and they have a choice whether they want to accept that or not. So I totally agree. And some I women totally will agree. take it, obviously. Some women will accept it. Yeah. 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 And so, I, I, um, I guess too, you know, you know, me being I guess what you call being arrogant. I mean, I I guess it's just me. I'm not gonna damn beat myself up for that shit. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. I you know, I I'll try to um nurture that a little bit and, and make corrections, but I'm not gonna beat myself up because somebody said, you 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 arrogant as hell or I'm not gonna let my daughter date you. Shit, all right. Okay. It's it's a billion damn women out here in this world. You're right, you're um, right. but, but, but 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 shame on me uh, for being who I am. You know, I can't change that shit. I can't. People have been calling me arrogant since damn high school. And I look at it and be like, damn, why they call me arrogant? I've never seen it. Like I, I can't see it. I guess something's wrong with me, but I tell you yeah, what, I've, I've gotten it's listen, really there, listen, but um I, everybody I, I, has, I'll, I'll say it again. I say I it's definitely that. there, but everybody has something. People accept it. Everybody can't love you, everybody can't like you because you don't like everybody. So there's definitely a woman out there that will accept that. You know what I mean? That a weekend. Yeah, something. yeah. Because back to heaven, I look at you, I'll be like, I can't, I can't tolerate your damn mouth, but your husband loves your mouth, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you feel me? <laughs> Cause I'd be like, I would, I wouldn't want my dad to date your ass because your mouth. But, That's wonderful. But, but I bet you but one you thing, my mouth is subservient to a man, and he deserves that for me to submit to him. I would never I, I allow that. myself to submit to somebody like you. I'm just I, saying. No, I, 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 I understand. We could. Praise the Lord. We're going to thank God for everything. And that's why I keep me a damn job so I don't have to deal with a nigga like you. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But hey, I, I love you. You're wonderful. You probably was a great person in high school and you're a great person. Just not great, probably for a serious. Yeah, well, there you have it. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give that to you. Yeah, yeah, some women. Just you like, love you know, Ariana. Do you love her? Um, all right, so we said we was gonna get us 50 minutes. We two minutes and 17 seconds over. So listen, thank okay. you so much for your time, and I really appreciate it, Dr. Heavenly. I appreciate so, you're not mad though, are you? You're not mad. No, no, are actually, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, I appreciate you too, sir. And I think we got a lot of questions answered, and um, I'm gonna continue to watch the show, but the show is going to continue, correct? It better, Carlos King. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we got all the questions. I appreciate you, sir, and I'm going to sign off with that, okay? Thank you, yes, Martel. Thank you, all right. Bye bye. Hey, y'all, I ain't going to. What y'all think? What y'all think about Martel? I, I, you got to give it to the brother that he spoke what he truly felt, and you got to respect that. You know what I mean? You got to respect that. Um, oh, You got to respect him. I'm Please. still here, but I'm talking to the peoples. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so I, I, you know, it is what it is. I think he's a great guy for somebody. Um, hopefully, I'm, I, you know, like I say, we real sensitive with relationships. Hopefully, they can get their life together, or you know, have a camp, amicable way of separating and keeping the kids good. And, and it's almost unfortunate when you go through things like this in the public eye. So y'all be easy on people. And um, try to be more understanding. I know I try to be and try to be non-judgmental when I'm not on reality TV. I'm trying to be non-judgmental, but I get paid for my opinions, but not this one. Um, we're gonna keep uplifting the brother, um, praying for him. Um, and just know that nobody's perfect. Um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna end. We're gonna pray. And hopefully this was entertaining to you guys. I always try to keep my blogs 20 minutes when we end up going an hour, y'all. Shoot in the box for the comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And hopefully we didn't piss Martell off. Was I bad? Y'all tell me, was I bad? I don't think so. But anyway, i see y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. I'm going to put it up now, so I'm going to go ahead and make it live, so I'll show you. Okay, i see y'all later. Bye-bye.